What's going on everyone? The main event for the week has started and this week we are trying to get Panda Paul above me in the black, white and red all over event. So if you want to know what you've got to do to get Panda Paul free to play, then join me in this video. What's going on everyone? I'm BPG and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I make at least two Marvel Strike Force videos every single week based around the event. I occasionally get time to sprinkle in extra videos. So if you find the content in this video helpful and it helps you get Panda Pool, then please do give the video a like. Subscribe so you know when I upload any other content. And hey, why not leave me a comment down below? I love to hear from you all. And I do love to chat and be part of the community with everyone. So this week's events, we have black, white and red all over. This event has already started. Uh, it started at 10 p.m. BST or 2 p.m. PDT. And it is a seven day event. So it's going to finish on the 27th of May. It also have a, has an associated web milestone called Sinister Strike. This also started already and finishes on the 27th of May at 2 p.m. PDT or 10 p.m. BST. This is a seven day web milestone, so no need to go there daily to collect if you don't want to. Rather nicely, there is also an Alliance event started. Uh, this is gonna be a six day event, so it's gonna finish on the 26th of May at 2 p.m. PDT or 10 p.m. BST if you are like me in the UK. And I fixed it, Shadow Heroics, uh, this was showing wrong on Friday's video, and I think I just cut it out, but it starts on the 24th of May at 2 p.m. PDT or 10 p.m. BST. This is this week's quick rumble. It's a two-day event, and we're going to get extra points for winning Blitz with Secret Defenders. Machines of War. This is the Alliance event that is currently ongoing. What are you going to have to do? Well, you're going to have to battle in war and earn allied supply for orb fragments which is basically going to collect them from the web store our reasonable free to play total is 574,000 that is 3,000 points shy of that mega gold orb and the extra 10 panda pool shards and some more mission supplies there are also further mission supplies and the mercenary contract which i do believe was meant to split the leaderboard at the end of the month however i have some bad news where that's concerned and we'll cover that in my final thoughts so what have you got to do well quite simply we are going to get three wars over the six days of this event uh, you are going to need to do 10 war battles per day per alliance member to do this and we have a rather generous 1000 Allied supply for orb fragments from the daily free claim. Hopefully that stays. That's going to give us the 144,000 points there from our 24 members of your alliance. Just don't forget to go to the web store to claim that. Sinister Strike. This is the web milestone for red, white, uh, black, white, and red all over. Sorry, as the event. Um, on Friday. When we had the blog, we had this. It was spend incursion energy at a one to one and battle in blitz at a one to one. Uh, so on Friday, my TLDR for you was going to be spend 200 cores on incursion energy per day and do seven blitz rotations per day based on 50 teams. I have been working over the weekend uh, with them going back and forth on this, providing a few bits and pieces on the last event that we did, which was the Cosmic Ghost Rider, the Eternal Vengeance event. I know there's probably others that have done this as well, but I've been going back and forth with the community managers in the uh, Envoy Discord. And I am pleased to say that today, when we went into the event, when Scopely got into the office, it has been changed and we are now getting to play one blitz battle as 10 points what does that mean for you all well the tldr now is spend your incursion campaign energy earn over time so that's just the the ticking time energy from your incursion campaign 
and do eight blitz rotations total over the seven days based on 50 teams. It seems a very easy event now and quite frankly, you know, if you hadn't, you know, if it, if it hadn't changed, it would have been a slog, this web milestone. So thank you, Scopely, for making that change. That is amazing. It does show that they do listen to us as players and as envoys, in fact. So how have I worked that out? Well, you're going to get 144 energy per day over time from your incursion campaign. That's going to give you 1,008 points. And that leaves you with 3,992 points to collect, which is basically eight blitz rotations completely. Very, very simple event. Very easy time on the actual engagement for this event. And black, white and red all over. This is the main event. This is where you're going to be getting all your shards of panda pool. And in this, you're going to have to earn bamboo orb fragments. These are coming from your arena rank is the main place, but also the web milestone. So do do that. And also your daily free claims. You're also going to have to play a raid battle with Peter B. Parker, Spider-Man Pavitra and Penny Parker. Now, I have only put these inputs in as I'm a free to play player and this is I mainly make this for the free to play community. However, there are other inputs for this. If you have Peter B. Parker, Spider-Man Pavitra or Penny Parker at five yellow, six yellow or seven yellow stars, you will be able to get more points in this event and get further on in the event. I've got the reasonable free to play total down as 69,000. And again, the TLDR for this, you're gonna to wanna to place in the top 500 in arena to get this reasonable free to play total. You're gonna to wanna to play one raid battle with Peter B. Parker, one raid battle with Spider-Man Pavitra, one raid battle with Penny Parker and go to the web store and collect your daily free claims. And I've put a link to the web store in the description down below. So there's no excuses, guys. You can go and collect that just by um, copying and pasting that. So where does that get us to? Well, it gets us 3000 points short of milestone 14, but it does get us to milestone 13 at 61,000 points. You can see down here that the arena ranks have extra points to them. If you're higher up in arena, you're obviously going to be able to get a little bit further on in this event. But it does get us 40 panda pool shards plus the mission supplies plus the mercenary contract for this event. And how have I worked those points out? Well, the web milestone alone is worth 45,000 points. You've got to play one raid battle with Peter B. Parker. Spider-Man, Pavitra and Penny, that is going to give us 48,000 points. Our arena rank. Now, if you are in the top 500, the minimum you are going to get over this event is 14,000 points. That get, brings us to 62,000. And the daily free claim is a very generous 1,000 bamboo orb fragments, which I was blown away with again. The, very, very generous on the... Uh, um, free claim so thank you very much scopely and that gives us thirty-one thousand total bamboo orb fragments that's not including the free claim friday we don't know what that is but that's given us 15 and a half orbs based on being in the top 500 uh the ev of the orb i'm gonna thank boylon for this one my brother boylon um because i messed the ev math up but 6.87 is the ev for this orb that is going to give you, even if you are down in the top 500, 105.9 shards from Panda Pool just from the orbs. That could be higher, obviously. There are some really nice drops in there. Uh, there are 40 shards coming from the milestone. That gives you 145.9 shards total from the milestone. But let's just go take a quick look in game a second and see what the orb is looking like for panda pool and here we are in game and to start off with we have the right pillar which has a guaranteed drop of three shards for panda pool that's amazing let's go to the center pillar now the center pillar has random drops 
Let's go to the most popular, the most common drop, which is the 64% drop. And in there, you will see there are lots and lots of panda pool shards, and they're all at a fairly decent percentage rate on the orb. You then have the common drop, where we're going to be getting more shards of panda pool. And then the uncommon drop, if you're really lucky, the top prize is going to be 35 shards of panda pool. So, like I said, if luck is with you, if RNG is with you, you are going to be getting some really decent shards from Panda Pool. There are also the opportunity for people who haven't got them yet to get characters like Deadpool, uh, Deathpool, sorry, Forge, Craven, Nightcrawler, Sunfire. You know, these are some really good characters for newer players who are just turning into the game now. So that's absolutely amazing and so we come to my final thoughts the i am really really proud that they listened to the feedback that us envoys gave myself included um and changed that blitzing because that would have been hell if we had to blitz seven rotations a day just for a web milestone so i'm really glad that they looked at that I wasn't quite expecting it to be as good as they did, but they did just literally put it as per the one that we had for Eternal Vengeance back in March. So thank you very much, Scopely, for that. Really appreciate you. Um, I did mention about the Machines of War and the Mercenary Contract. Now, I don't want to make anyone alarmed. The sky is not falling. I have spoken to them about this. I'm awaiting to hear back from them. but. Currently, with what I've worked out as to what we can get free to play as an alliance and as a player, um, with where I am currently in the total for the month, which I'm 7k points short um, because my alliance missed 7,000 of the um, supplies from the last alliance event because they were a bit slack. Um, but even without those 7k missing, we are still a little bit shy of reaching the 800,000 needed for the monthly milestone. I have reported this. Hopefully they'll do something about it. I'll keep you guys updated in the community tab. Why not let me know about how you think this event has gone? How have you got on in that pocket dimension? Have you cleared it yet? Is it all yours? Have you got that free diamond ghost spider now? I know I certainly did. Are you hyped about the Mercs for Money team? Are you looking forward to Panda Pool? I, the, the animations on Panda Pool are amazing. Let me know in the comments down below. If this video helps you, again, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, everyone, stay positive.